in this video i will talk about combination clipper circuit and this is called combination clipper circuit because this circuit combines the positive and negative bias clipper circuit okay that's why this is called combination clipper circuit so let me describe the operation of this combination clipper circuit during the positive half cycle of the input voltage this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative and now see the positive terminal is connected with the n side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the p side of the diode and in case of this reference voltage also the negative connect terminal is connected with the p side and the positive terminal is connected with the inside that means ultimately the input voltage and the reference voltage vr2 will drive the diode in reverse bias so i can replace this diode the branch in which the diode is connected with an open circuit so during the positive half cycle there will be only one branch with the diode d1 during the positive half cycle this terminal will be positive this terminal will be negative that means the input voltage will try to drive the diode in forward bias but the reference voltage has its positive terminal connected with inside of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the p side of the diode that means in case of positive half cycle our transition voltage will be equal to plus v r so when the input voltage is greater than plus v r our diode d1 will be on when the input voltage is less than this reverse volt this reference voltage v r1 this reference voltage will drive the diode in reverse bias that means when the input voltage is less than the the reference voltage our di diode will be in reverse bias so when the input voltage vi is greater than our plus vr this diode will be in forward bias so when this diode is in forward bias uh, we can replace that diode with an with a short circuit and you will see that when this diode is replaced by short circuit our output voltage will be equal to plus vr that means from this point to this point our output voltage will be equal to plus vr because we are taking the output because we are taking the output across this terminal and this terminal and between these two terminal a voltage source of plus v r1 is connected in parallel across these two terminals so our from this point to this point our output voltage will be equal to plus v r1 okay now consider the input voltage less than vi less than the reference voltage so this diode will be in reverse bias so when this diode is in reverse bias i can replace this diode with an open circuit if i replace the diode with an open circuit you will see that the branch in which the diode was connected will be eliminated from the original circuit that means in this circuit when the input voltage is less than vr or the transition voltage our current will be equal to zero as a result the voltage drop across this resistor will be equal to zero in that case our output voltage will be exactly equal to our input voltage that means the output voltage will follow the same shape as our input voltage from this point to this when the input voltage is less than this vr so from this point to this point input voltage is changing this way so our output voltage will follow this wave shape and from this point to this point our output voltage our input voltage is changing like this so our output voltage will also change like this now consider in case of negative half cycle during negative half cycle this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive see the positive terminal is connected with the inside of the diode d1 and the ne negative side is connected with the, the p side of the diode d1 and also the positive terminal of the reference voltage is connected with the p inside and the negative terminal is connected with the p side that means both the input voltage vi during the negative half cycle and the reference voltage vr1 are trying to drive the diode in reverse bias so when this diode d1 is in reverse bias during the negative half cycle i can replace this diode with an open circuit as the diode gets opened i can remove this branch from our original circuit so i have removed the branch of d1 
the negative terminal is connected with the inside of the diode and the positive terminal is connected with the P side but if I consider this reference voltage you will see that the negative terminal of this reference voltage is connected with the P side and the positive terminal is connected with the N side which indicates that that means the uh, this voltage is trying to drive the diode in reverse bias and the input voltage is trying to drive the diode in forward bias that means when the input voltage VI is e exactly equal to minus VR the co resultant effect of this input voltage and the reference voltage VR2 on this diode will be equal to zero therefore I can indicate the transition voltage during negative half cycle VI equal to minus VR when the input voltage is less than this VR that means this terminal is more positive with respect to this reference voltage our diode will be in forward bias and uh, when the input voltage is greater than the reference voltage or or this transition voltage our diode will be in reverse bias so consider the case when the input voltage is greater than this transition voltage our diode will be in reverse bias so when this diode is in reverse bias I can replace this diode with an open circuit our new circuit will look like this circuit and when the as long as the input voltage is greater than that this transition voltage our output voltage will be exactly equal to our input voltage because the current in this circuit will be equal to zero therefore the voltage drop across this resistor will be zero from this point to this point our input voltage is changing in this way thereby our output voltage will also follow the same wave shape okay and from this point to this point in input voltage is grow changing like this our output voltage will follow the same wave shape when the input voltage VI is less than VI is less than this transition voltage our diode will be in forward bias so when this diode is in forward bias I can replace this diode with a short circuit I can replace this diode with a short circuit if I replace this diode with a short circuit you will see that we are taking the output across this terminal and this terminal and this output voltage will be exactly equal to the this voltage source value V minus V R 2 therefore because we are taking the output in parallel across this bias voltage V R 2 so from this point to this point our voltage will be equal to minus V R 2 okay so this is the complete waveform of this combination clipper circuit okay that's it thank you